Hey guys, today I'm going to unbox from the Fender Corporation a Squire Starcaster. Purchased this off the musician's friend, so uh, sit back and enjoy this. I'm going to unbox it real quick and then uh, kind of go over some details of it, so stay tuned. Let's uh, see what we got here. Let's turn this uh, Ahsoka under the cabinet light on. Shed a little bit of light on this uh, subject here. All right, that's a lot better. So, um, after I got everything unwrapped uh, from the box, I uh, there's always dust and stuff on the manufacturer and stuff. So anyway, I got it all wiped off. I peeled the plastic off of the uh, pickups and off the pit guard. Uh, there wasn't one on this one, which kind of worried me a little bit, but it was not scratched at all. Uh, really, they should have one on that as well. Um, so anyway, um, man, I checked this over real good, um, and I didn't see a scratch on it anywhere. Um, this is a super nice guitar, guys. Uh, I'm just going to go through real quick and kind of give you some close-ups, different views of it. Um, I did look up. Um, got a little, some fingerprints on it right now. I did look up uh, on Reverb to see if they had any vintage um, Fender Starcasters. Uh, these things come out in 1976 and were discontinued. Uh, I think it went up through 1980. It wasn't a popular uh, guitar for Fender. Um, I don't know if they were trying to market it to the jazz people or what, but. Um, uh, I think this is a freaking awesome looking guitar. Okay, I, I look at guitars from a couple of different ways. The very first thing is sight. Man, if I see one, I say, golly, that looks great. That looks cool. I'm going to take a look at it. Then after that is playability. This neck, this is a maple neck. And it's a darkened to reflect kind of a vintage look. But uh, Reverb had this exact guitar from Fender, 1976. Now, now, remind you, this is a Squire Starcaster. Retails for $429. Reverb, so was it Reverb? Yeah, I think it was Reverb that had it. This model, and I'll, and I'll tell you what exactly what's the same about it and what's different, for $4,450 for the Fender version from 1976. This is a replica, okay? That's... The best way to say it is it's it's a replica and it's not exact. I'll show you why. If you were to look up 1976 Fender Starcasters, you're going to see them in a Tobacco Burst, uh, the Sunburst here, and Natural is the main three ones that I saw when I was doing my research on this. Um, some differences though. Uh, of course, this is says Squire, okay. The pickups look identical to this, where they have a, a post here and a post here with these uh, uh, screws, or these these posts actually are offset here. Okay, um, but it does says there says Fender. I mean, when I say they are that when I said the original 1976 version says Fender. Also, the tailpiece is different on the original 1976. Uh, on the 1976 version, the strings go through the body back here there's six holes okay and uh, then they come up through the body here and over with one uh, uh, one tail piece okay um, so that, that's a, a difference there okay another big difference would be there's only four knobs, volume, volume, tone, tone, on this modern version, this replica. Okay, volume for that pickup, tone for that pickup, volume for the 
neck pickup up here and tone for the neck pickup. On the original version, it had um, an extra volume knob, which was called the master volume. So there were five knobs down here that arranged just a little bit differently. Okay. And of course, they still did have the selector switch right here. Okay. Um, that's the difference in the body that I can tell so far from looking at pictures. Uh, as far as the headstock, the headstock is identical. Okay. Uh, I don't think they had this uh, string guide here on one of those. They might, it seems like I've seen one that had one that was longer, like over three strings at a time, maybe. Of course, the original says Fender and not Squire. It says Starcaster. It's just like this. It has this uh, carved out piece here. And it's hard to tell, but this is actually sunken in just a little bit here. And the original had these identical tuners. Okay. A lot of guys don't like these tuners. I think they're fine. Uh, I think they lock in just fine. A lot of people, well, I'll say a lot. Some guys will want to mod this out and put uh, actual locking tuners on there and different uh, pickups and everything. But okay, so uh, here's the back. Look at that beautiful, beautiful wood. That wood grain you can see really well in the sunburst. Um, it has the Squire logo instead of the Fender logo, of course. And let's see if I can get over here. Ooh, right here, it says designed and backed by Fender. And it has the serial number crafted in Indonesia. Crafted in Indonesia. Okay, here's the what they call the skunk stripe. That's where the truss rod was fitted into this neck. So I looked down the fret board and it seems like the fret board is decent. Um, I, it might be bowed down just a little bit too much. It might need to be straightened out a little bit. Um, I'll probably look at it again and uh, make that determination. They're easy to adjust up here at the, uh, the truss rods right here in the front. Let me show you. Mm, I don't have much room to work in my little TBI cave here. There's the, you put an Allen wrench down in there and then adjust that rod, truss rod and it'll, it'll bow, uh, you tighten the, tighten your neck up or loosen it up a little bit as, as you, as you desire, whatever you need. I like a fairly straight, um, I like a fairly straight neck. Okay. Um, all the squires come with the basic little booklet, uh, and, uh, an Allen key, depending on what what you're looking for, uh, or uh, this will be this would adjust the truss rod. So it comes with the tool to do that as you need. Um, so uh, I did tune it up a little bit, uh, but I'm going to finish tuning it up, stretch the strings out a little bit, and uh, we'll give it a shot. We're going to see. We're going to hook it up into my uh, Fender uh, tube amp, my uh, Fender Blues Junior. And we're going to see what this thing sounds like, okay? This is a semi-hollow body, meaning that it's not hollow all inside. Right in here, you can, there's a block of wood that runs all the way through here that all this stuff is connected to. And that, that makes it a semi-hollow body. Um, it's got a pretty good weight to it. I don't know really what it weighs. I didn't weigh it, but uh, it's got a pretty good weight to it. Um, man what it it's just really cool looking guitar it reminds me of the old days um truthfully it reminds me of a guitar that my grandpa had uh, called a standale and as far as this color goes it didn't really look like this but this color just reminds me of that and so i kind of think that's kind of neat too uh it's just a unique uh guitar like i said i i really wouldn't go buy any more guitars than you know how i do it's like oh there's one on sale i'm gonna buy it so $429 retails what this cost. I had uh, points on my musician's friend account, $93 worth of points. And so they took that off of the bill and uh, I ordered a case for it as well, but the case didn't fit. Uh, it's kind of hard to find cases. These guys on musician's friends really don't know what they're looking for uh, most of the time. So uh, it's kind of almost trial and error, but the case I purchased was only $70 and uh, 
they of course I, they exchanged it and I've already taken it back today um, or sent it off uh, to be returned and ordered another case uh, to put it in but yeah it's not about cases it's about guitars man this this is gonna be fun to play I can already tell so let me get off of here for a minute I'm gonna get it tuned up plugged up and uh, I'll bring you right back stay with me all right guys well before I, before I turned the video on, I was messing around with this after I tuned it. Man, this is this is a sweet guitar. the uh, switch in the middle position which is activating both of these pickups here at the same time let's look at the up position that's just activating this pickup alone so the volume is controlled here and tone will be controlled here so uh, let's just do an E chord of course the volume okay uh, I've got the tone off. Let's look to just a straight, just tone zero. Let's see. I'll turn it up a little bit. So it brightens it up just a little bit. sound there. Let's turn the tone down just a little bit more. position volumes controlled down here with this volume knob and the tone for this pickup here this is the bottom pickup what they call the bridge pickup bridge pickup neck pickup so the bridge pickup switch down let's turn the volume up a little bit <laughs> about halfway up let's turn it all the way up to 10 and see what that tone sounds like hear the difference I guess it does get louder with tone as well but it just changes the tone of the of that pickup let's go back to the middle position which activates both pickups that's usually what I tend to play in the strings probably needs to be adjusted a little bit uh, at the nut it's don't appear to be too bad really at all um, but down here it's a little high it didn't bother me too much I mean it's something I get used to the pickups are freaking strong oh they're really hot um, so they don't need to be adjusted up I don't think anymore um, if I adjust the action on this a little bit I'll adjust it right here 
um, it's got a post here that you can on both sides that you can unscrew and lower that down a little bit and uh, I might do that and take a look at the neck one more time here at first when I first saw it I thought that might be bowed down just a little bit down here I thought it might be tightened up a little bit but I don't know I'm not seeing that too bad now and the neck seems to be straight too as far as it's not twisted at all man I tell you what I don't know how they do that guys uh, these are super nice guitars um, it's from the uh, Squire uh, uh, classic vibe series okay classic vibe series so uh, uh, I've got three of these guitars. I have uh, this one, I have a Jazzmaster, and I have a Finline Telecaster from that series. 70s, uh, classic vibe, and my Jazzmaster's from the 60s, uh, classic vibe collection. Modern guitars, 2022 to 2023-ish, uh, the ones that I have, uh, but it, it has vintage features. Uh, like the old days uh, not exactly like it but man this guitar caught my eye you tell I'm really excited about it this is a beautiful guitar you see how thin it is here I'll let you see the back again on this side it's a little bit oh what it's, it's so glossy the finish is so glossy it's picking up everything it's gonna get reflected off of it you guys can see that uh, so that wood grain or not man I am just so excited about this this is called an offset guitar because this part and this part here this is offset from the top uh, they're just really super guitars to they're comfortable so if I can do some classical thing for you here let's see Uh, I was going to say too, some of these lesser expensive guitars, uh, the frets aren't polished that good. Uh, and I've noticed that on my other ones that, you know, I have to polish them up and get the roughness out of them just a little bit. I'm telling you right here, I, this, these are smooth, smooth all the way across every fret. And this is something too that's kind of odd uh, as far as dressing these frets, which means you file at an angle here and an angle here on every fret every single one down the line 22 frets down and on the bottom so that won't, won't, won't have no rough parts this right here I promise you guys I'm running my fingers down and it is as smooth or smoother even than my $1,800 two fenders that I have my Stratocaster and my my uh, Telecaster I know y'all think I'm full of it if you guys know how to play guitar and you know what I'm talking about this is totally finished totally finished one thing I do kind of think cool is also about this these guitars or any guitar really you get this is the inspection card I think it's kind of neat uh, has the people's signature that did the various inspections so uh, <laughs> if it was really bad you could kind of figure out so who did that who, who, who approved that they didn't know what they were doing these people here whoever you are you knew what you was looking at this is an outstanding guitar I'm very impressed um, be playing it quite a bit. Yeah, awesome. Hey, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I know this is a little bit longer video than I usually do, but I'm just so excited about this guitar and uh, hope you guys like it. Um, man, if you play guitar, I'd go find you one of the musicians' friends where I got this one. It's on the internet. Uh, that's an internet based uh, company uh, same as Guitar Center just the internet based so we don't have any uh, brick and mortar stores for musicians friend but uh, I promise you this right here is a steal at $429 which is list I would pay $429 for it but I had $93 in points so that's why they took off of that uh, $429 plus I got 15% off of that too I forgot to tell you guys about that so yeah they always offer 10% off the $429 or for a long time they have, but this uh, this gear advisor 
He said, I'll get you 15% off. I had 15% off plus the 93 bonus uh, points. Not everybody has that, but you, you, you can get, you can probably talk them into to, uh, 15% off. It's not on sale. Um, so you can uh, probably get 15% off of it straight off, off the uh, top. Uh, the Kansas City store, I heard only had five left. Now they have four left. I don't know. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.